Morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Good. Happy Friday. Common Drown World Town Hall. We've been doing this since July of 2022. And uh, it was weekly for the first two and a half years, and now it's every other week. So if you want to know when we are going live, jump on our YouTube channel, subscribe, like it, turn on the bell, and that way you won't have to wonder. Um, we are also live chatting in Discord, and we're reading your comments here in YouTube. So if you have questions in either of those, let us know. And let's yes. see, who do we have today? Checking in Discord. So we got O Town, Drew, Tati, Edie Lugs, Oaken Shield. Nice reference there. Farmer Michelle. I know that name. Hey! <laughs> Dubstep Rod, Homeboy, Lexel, uh, Shadow, all kinds. Oh, White Metal Ape. I haven't seen you in a while. Nice. Unfamous Games? Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's always nice to see new people chatting. Don't be shy. Uh, I think Farmer Michelle has kept our community uh, super positive and shiny and welcoming. It's not easy work. Thank you, Farmer Michelle. I try my hardest. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see. I have a form I'm going to share in Discord. If you didn't get your questions in ahead of time, you can fill this out. And we will give it careful thought on Thursdays, the day before we do this. Or if you think about it live while we're doing this, message us now on Discord or in YouTube, and we'll answer those questions live in a little bit. Yep. Okay. Well, headlines, rewards. What's up with uh, we rewards? We are all up to date with rewards now. <gasps> so everything has been sent. All of the documents are updated. So we got the leaderboard documents. I'll share that right here in Discord now. You can always find it in the FAQ channel. Uh, but everything is all up to date and everything is set and everything is good. Red. That's my 80s reference. Good. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, because sometimes people, you know, they have questions. Hey, when's the reward coming out? What is the what is August's monthly free storage NFT going to be and how do players get that? Uh, the one for August, which we have not announced yet, but I'm going to announce right now for the first time, will be <gasps> Honey Storage. I don't have any art leaks yet, but I will try to find some for everybody next week. But that's going to be honey storage, just for honey. Uh, the ways wow. you can get it are, see, well, there's a common, an uncommon one, and a rare one. The common one will hold 10 honey. That one you can get by playing Townstar on 10 different days over the course of the month and completing at least 25 trades or sales throughout the month. The uncommon one that you get by running your node I believe it's seven hours a day for at least, well, six hours a day for at least 10 days of the course of the month. And then the rare one, the hard to get one, that one holds 40 honey. I bet you have to play Common Ground World on 25 different days throughout the course of the month with at least one sale per day and have 75 total sales throughout the course of the month. That'll work in any of the different game modes. They, they all combine together. So one day you play Common Ground Mode and the next day you're playing the event mode at all. It all adds up and combines together. Hmm. Uh, so that rare one is definitely the one to go for. Remember that it doesn't work on fast forward. So if you set up your town on day four and fast forward it through the course of the month and don't open it at all, that only counts as two logins, not mm -hmm. 29 or whatever. <laughs> True story. You got to be live at the keyboard <laughs> or the mobile device. Well, that's fun. Okay. So it's not just the, um, just the weekly competitions that provide people with rewards. It's also that monthly storage. Yeah. And those come in handy. I mean, when I'm playing, I use them all the time. Some of them are, they're definitely really useful, especially early on in the game when you've got, you know, and everything is unbalanced and you've got extra stuff producing and you want to make sure they all stay separate so that you've got mm -hmm. a special place for everything and you don't lose everything. They definitely yeah. come in handy. My flower storage I use all the time. Oh, wow. yeah. I use that, my sugar storage every single week when I'm doing my cash rush. Mm -hmm. Well, let's... Uh, I'm going to do something a little different. Normally in the game updates, I do the big stuff we're working on. Um, what I used to do um, when we had six and seven people in here and you know we were making sure that everybody knew that we had 
you know, we were just a frenzy of activity as I would give the live uh, fixes. And basically, I would read the change log aloud. I'm not going to do that full thing, but I will start with our live fixes that are coming out. So y'all won't um, see this first one, but it, you know, I always like to call it the invisible fixes too. There was a, if you look at the Godot docs, there's a, a certain arrangement, a certain architecture of the way that the scenes exist and nodes and everything works together. We were generating a bunch of errors because of one really weird exception for some players' towns. It only happened when you went back to the main menu and it would cause a little bit of a hiccup. So um, if you had a certain NFT, and I don't want to say which ones to cause a placebo or whatever, going back to the main menu would cause a little bit of a delay. That's been fixed. The Epic Shrimp Farm has been fixed. It was not, uh, it was crafting too soon. Um, there was also a fix for errors um, when you had a proximity buff active, when you try to go back to the main menu. That one's mostly for us because it was spamming the logs, didn't harm any players. Um, and then refueling component. Well, that's internal. Sorry, <laughs> uh, there was there were some fixes we made to the worker logic. Let's say that. <laughs> so <laughs> we we call it refueling internally. But uh, there were some Z fighting issues. Those definitely would have been visual. Those have been fixed, and we will provide the release notes uh, when it goes out. So. All right, so the next three updates are about the daily challenges. Now, if, if you send in your question, because some of you guys did, about, hey, what's the progress and all that, listen up, because later when we get to the Q&A, uh, I'm just going to say, hey, refer back to three minutes ago or whatever. Um, so daily challenges, it's going well. Uh, I want to start with the, um, the exciting news for me. I'm a people person. We got a new hire uh, for a back-end dev. Uh, actually... He's an old school Galadev who's been here the whole time. He was, he's been on another team though for almost two years and we finally stole him back and uh, <laughs> we're very happy. <laughs> he's so back. happy. Yeah. I was so excited to hear he was coming back. Yeah, me too. Um, he actually worked on the play canvas version of the game. So that he brings all that knowledge and history and everything back and he's joining our back end team because he's a back end dev and he enjoys that. So, um, yeah, so we are still testing daily challenges. It's going really well. Um, I'll give you a little details on some of the features that we've merged into our feature branch over the past week or so. Um, analytics, you're saying like, why is Volcron talking about analytics? That's nerd stuff. Well, we, we actually look at analytics for more than just busting cheaters. We also look at it to find out what features are really being used. And anytime somebody's like, there's a dispute or confusion or whatever. It's nice to see, oh, you did X, Y, Z actions and then this happened. So that's normally the last pieces that you put in because they're really simple to add and all that. So we've added more analytics. We've been tweening up the UI, text formatting, centering, doing things like that. And the challenge HUD updates, um, there were some redundancies. There were timers you didn't need to see twice, remove things like that. And, uh, and then other nice things like getting a feature flag, things like that for testing. Um, for the back end, uh, we're optimizing for the bandwidth. You won't see this too much from your client machines, whether it's mobile or desktop, but it's from our server back to an internal server. Um, but that increases capacity and is going to help us scale. So we've optimized a bit for bandwidth there for this feature. Uh, one thing that one of our devs added that I think is a great idea, I'm glad they did, is that when you click claim in the daily challenge, first thing it's going to do is save your town and then it's going to do the claim. We didn't want a case where, you know, the town saves automatically every minute. You guys know that. And the town saves when you go back to the main menu or when you close the browser. But if you put an NFT down or three rewards NFTs down and hit claim, we wanted to make sure that the back end had a record of what your town actually looked like when you hit claim. So we put that in, uh, pretty simple. And there were some back end vulnerabilities as well. Those have been fixed. Um, obviously not going to go into details on that. And more uh, security and stuff in lock on the claiming. Remember, we're going to do the owner of the NFT gets a cut and the person actually using it. 
So those percentages, I think right now are 90-10. The person using it, putting it in their town, you know, borrowing it from the guild, that person gets 90%, I think it is, subject to change. You know, tiny text, disclaimer voice and all that. And then the owner gets some percent. So we had to do some uh, math there to make sure that the all the servers line up on that. So pretty good progress. It's looking nice. And we're looking forward to getting that out pretty soon. I don't want to say an exact date, but I think two weeks ago, I think I said it'd be due by the end of August. And that's what we're shooting for. So we will see. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be fun. People been wanting this for evers. Um, and then a quick update on upgradable NFTs, which comes after this. Um, yeah, we're, we're reworking the UI. Hopefully, we'll have enough time that we'll be able to actually put the effects, you know, what, what does this building even do? Or what does this worker even do? What does it store? What can it deliver to? Um, what buffs are affecting it and all that? Hopefully, we're going to be able to add all that info into the game. So you're not going to have to go to any third-party sites or anything to look at that. Um, I'm some so of, excited for all that stuff to happen. Oh, man. Yeah, it's long overdue. Now, we're not yeah, probably not going to add a... Yeah. So that's exciting. And it's necessary for the upgradable NFTs. Because imagine you have four of some NFT, and you never want to upgrade one of them for whatever reason. The second one, you do want to upgrade, and it's pending because, let's say, I don't know, all the crypto networks are slow that day or something. It's pending for whatever reason. A third one, same NFT, is no longer level one. It's already been upgraded. It's level, let's say, 10 out of 20. And the fourth one is in your guild library, so it's not eligible to be upgraded because it's being used. So that's four separate states which effectively make those four four separate NFTs. It gets visually very complicated very fast. So, yeah. Um, anyway, that's that's not necessarily entirely engineering problem, but we do have some really brilliant uh, artists and UI people working on that as well. So look forward to some changes there. Uh, third category, you guys are asking about, hey, we had this, um, you know, kind of a left turn for a little bit to do a redesign of the homepage, redesign of the menus. We're going to add, you know, certain features to the common ground world mode. Where is all that work? You know, we took some time off daily challenges to do it. All that work is going to be merged in after daily challenges goes live. It's pretty much done. So, uh, hope that that was our game updates. Hope that was useful for everybody. It was, it was a great round of updates. Oh, cool. All right, well, let's scoot on to Q&A. Uh, first one's for Farmer Michelle. This was a big one. Uh, you wrote your name. I hope you don't mind me um, saying who sent it. It's uh, Vishti. Thank you for this. Uh, the question was um, basically about game balance. Like, are we always going to require super huge, expensive NFTs in order to win? That was his kind of summary of his question. What do you think about I mean, that, Farmer Michelle? Yeah, well, what I can say is that, you know, there will always be NFTs in the game. It's an NFT game. You know, there's never not going to be NFTs. NFTs will always give an advantage. If they didn't, there wouldn't be that much incentive to have them. So it's kind of the whole intent behind the NFTs is to give an advantage. You know, that's that's what they're there for. So that, that will always be the case. Uh, there will be changes to the way NFTs are coming out and the way pricing and stuff is once we go to upgradables. Because you'll be able to buy the lower level and then upgrade it, you know, to your satisfaction depending on what you are trying to get out of that NFT. So it will be a bit different once we switch over to selling upgradable NFTs. But I mean, long story short, there will always be NFTs and people who have more NFTs, higher powered NFTs will likely do better if they, you know, have practice and everything. Having mm -hmm. NFTs isn't everything. You know, you do have to understand strategy and how to play the game and how it all works properly as well. But NFTs are meant to give advantage. Yeah. Well, and that's that's something nice about the NFT upgrade system that we're going to add as well, is that, okay, maybe two people buy an NFT, it's at the same level, has the same effects, but then the person who plays all the time and upgrades it, theirs is actually better. So mm -hmm. it's interesting. So let me, uh, I got a live question I'm going to address here in a minute, paste that. 
and we'll proceed with our pre-filled questions here. Will the amount for you, Farmer Michelle, will the amount of NFTs per node be increased when daily challenges are turned back on? Uh, I have more than 20 NFTs and I would like to lend out and have them earn for me. Oh, yes. I mean, when you, once you start increasing your node level, once with the upgradable, uh, then yes, there'll be like more slots to put in more NFTs. You'll have a you know, bigger slots for guild members so you can grow your guild size. Um, so yeah, all that'll be a part of upgraded node NFTs. Okay. Next question is about competition time. Can it be shortened from three to two days? I mean, that's completely up to you guys as a community. Uh, right now, the reason we do three days is because that's what was voted on by the community in the last few surveys. It's been three days for a while now. I think we changed it from four down to three like a year and a half ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. There will be another quarterly survey coming out soon. I've been a bit behind, but I'll try to get it out uh, this coming week. And then we can all vote again and we'll see. Maybe it'll change. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Next question. Oh my gosh. Can I, is this every week? How did I miss every this Every single one? week. Can, <laughs> can, the, can the road requirement for the Valentine stand be removed since it's a legend? Oh, since it's a legendary. I thought you were going to say since it's a stand. Well, what about that? We'll Farmer definitely Michelle? consider it. It's not a top priority for us right now, but uh, you know we'll look into it at some point. I mean, we went over it a couple of weeks ago. The reason why the road was originally removed from the week stands was just because feed was changed from requiring one wheat to requiring two wheat. So in order to account for that change, we removed the road requirement from the wheat stands. And that was where mm. it all started. And, you know, lately NFTs that have been selling just have been not requiring roads at all, you know, not just stands, but all different kinds of NFTs. So, mm. but the Valentine stand was sold before we made that change as well. So I don't know. I mean, we'll definitely look into it. I don't know if it'll happen or not. We'll see. All right. Let's see. It looks like I have a two, three, four. Oh, let me read the question for you. In a row here. All right. This question says, "What happened to Town Star Forever? Not the slow Common Ground World version, but the persistent town with goals, quests, achievements, expansion, etc. This is what should have been worked on these past six months if you really wanted new players." <laughs> right. Um, yeah, you know, our game design doc still has all that. And there, there's even, you know, of course, in our source code, there's all these, we use feature flags for some stuff. We compile out with if defs, if you know what I'm talking about, other stuff. There's things like XP meters and things that you guys don't see that was worked on for Townstar Forever. So we don't want that stuff to go to waste. But, and you're probably sick of hearing me saying this, but <laughs> we got to fulfill our promises. That's our number one priority. Reputation, huge. You know, you make promises, you got to fulfill them. So... We're getting through all of our promises throughout the rest of this year and excited to do so. <laughs> That's daily challenges, you know, experiments here and there too, right? Like the UA and uh, user acquisition and stuff like that. So, all right. Hope that helps. <laughs> TLDR, we There's still definitely have some it. cool features as a part of like Townstar Forever that I would love to see come to the game. Oh, you yeah. Know, sooner, once we finish all of these promises, even the stuff like like happiness bars that we'd all talked about, all that kind of stuff would be super oh, cool, man. especially with all yeah. the restaurants that are in the game now. I mean, if your workers are happy because they've got plenty of salmon paninis floating around, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe they'll work faster. And that stuff is definitely an exciting game level. That'll, that'll be cool if and when it does happen. All mm -hmm. right. You want me to read that next question? Yes, please. It says, why a lot of times do I receive an orange town when I see other players with a green town in the same competition? Huh. Well, um, send me a screenshot. I'm Volcron there on Discord or contact Farmer Michelle. Be sure to tell us what browser and operating system you're on. Um, you know, WebAssembly and shaders and implementation of shaders and how textures are loaded. There's a million browsers out there in a million versions. So yeah, just let us know. Yeah, I see is it Tati from Gem sent me a DM with the screenshot from theirs and all the information about it. So I will pass that along to you and then we can definitely look into it. Alrighty. All right, what's the next question say here? Any plans to enable playing Common Ground World in Telegram? 
Oh, probably not. Um, although the game is a web app. Um, yeah, right now, a lot of the Telegram apps are written in uh, kind of more of what you'd call SPA, single page app type things. You know, React, Vue, uh, plain JavaScript, stuff like that. So I know there's some Unity apps out there. We may we may do a Come Drawn World Tapper one day, and if that goes well, we might talk about porting this game to it. But um, no plans on that yet. Actually, if you want to get really creative and authorized, I'm going off the cuff here. Don't don't let Mark uh -oh. hear me say this. <laughs> but <laughs> it may be interesting to control your town or your guild or something through Telegram through bot commands or something like that. But for, you know, no promise. It's just, that's an idea, right? Very lightweight, things like that, like collect earnings, something. Okay, uh, next question, prefilled. It says, you promised to launch the daily challenge by the second quarter, but what about hmm. progress? All right. Well, I went over daily challenge progress above. If that did not answer your questions, uh, ask again in CGW discussion or DM me directly. I type pretty fast, so yeah. Last one, or next last one's for you, Farmer Michelle. When will we run the next guild competition? Uh, at this time, we're still unsure. I did ask Riant, and uh, there's no plans in the immediate future to run another one, so. Uh, like I said last week, as soon as I know, you guys will know. But as of right now, there's not any like immediately coming up. Hmm. But that doesn't mean you don't, you know, you don't want to be in guilds. It's still helpful to be in a guild and help your friends out and use their NFTs and they can use your NFTs. And... Mm -hmm. All good. All right. Last question is, when sandbox mode? Um, I don't know. I think that would be low lift, high reward. I think that would be awesome. Um, we've talked about it on varying levels. Um, me personally, what I would stick in the sandbox mode would be, of course, the inventory you have, but maybe even also um, any of the NFTs that are up for sale in the store. Um, I could try before you buy a thing. I'm not a marketer or sales guy. I don't know if that's good or bad for sales, but uh, other options for sandbox mode are things like, oh, well, we'll just expose all the NFTs. Right. That way you can literally try anything that helps the uh, secondary markets as well. Like, hey, bro, I got my you know, orb of light or whatever up for sale. Try it in sandbox mode. See if you want to buy it from me. I think that would be helpful for everybody. And mm -hmm. I'd like to see us do that at some point. Yeah, I agree. Okie dokie. Live Q&A. Um, oh, this one is for, let's see, Dubstep Rod. Does the new NFT going on sale today have reduced craft times and faster movement speed for the chef? Do you know about that, Farmer Michelle? Uh, the craft times are the same as the standard craft times that show up in the game, you know, with all the ghost cards applied and everything, blueprints and other, like the pasty, or the barista palace and all that. So it'll get all the buffs, but the, the standard craft time is still the same as they are in those other buildings where the crafts are normally made. I I do believe that the worker's faster than like the in-game one. Let me check the document and get back to you in just a second. Okay. All right. Um, while she's checking that, next question's from Martin. Um, a little bit of confusion over how I worded upgradable NFTs in the context of guilds. The confusion or the question is, let's say I own an NFT. I work hard on it. I buy upgrade materials. I get all the way up to level 20. Well, let's say level 15 and it's awesome. I stick it in my guild. Somebody checks it out in my guild. They put it in their town. Now I upgrade it to 16. What happens? Well, you have to have it. This is one of those gameplay things that it's kind of an edge case. Honestly, I don't think we've thought about. We could do either way. Okay. You have to revoke it from your guild mate before you can upgrade it. That's one option. The other is you upgrade it and it automatically gets upgraded in their town. That's another option. Um, a third is that you're not allowed to upgrade uh, at all if it's in the guild library. So, you know, if you guys have opinions on what you think would make that more fun and engaging, fill them out. 
uh, let us know. We we certainly are going to do things our way, but <laughs> I definitely want to hear from how, how you would use it. There were even, like as an example, um, there were guild features that we we just didn't predict you guys um, would use. I, I thought... Um, oh, guilds are going to be, you know, small, medium, large groups of people who do things together. It's going to be cool. What we didn't expect was, a, you know, up until before the competition, people would be jumping between guilds rapidly. <laughs> Never saw that coming. So there's always this kind of emergent behavior and emergent questions. So I hope I hope that that answers your question, Martin. Uh, I think that is. Oh, here's another one from O-Town. Let me fill this one out. Let's see. O-Town says, can we have sales for older NFTs when we do Starlight Market Box metas? For example, Hot Chocolate Chalet would be useful for next week. Current price is 300 But that price was set when Gala price was much higher. Probably won't be many sales based on that. A flash sale might generate some more sales. It's a cool idea. Yeah, I don't know if there's any plans for any big flash sales or anything coming up soon. I haven't heard anything from Rian about any, but I know that kind of stuff is always on his radar. So, yeah, I'll miss. I'll send it to him right now. That's cool. Okay. Any other live questions? Oh, uh, Dubstep Rod, who will take over Ninja Surprises position? Uh, we have not heard. Hopefully, somebody. Um, we will be. You will be missed, Ninja Surprise. I know at least temporarily. I'll be doing socials as well. So. Oh. All right. We got some feedback from Lonely Island about NFT upgrades. Let me scroll up here. Martin, um, there was one question about should the owner of a of an NFT ever be locked out of taking their NFT back to use it? That's something we'll probably never do. The owner, it's your property. You know, you probably should be able to yank it out of anybody's town whenever you want. And if you do that, as a, if you're a big meanie and you play jokes on people and they put their your great NFT in their town, and you yank it back just to be mean, they probably won't stay in your guild, right? So Exactly. Um, <laughs> you're not going to be able to recruit many members if everyone's saying how bad of a guild leader you are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, Moyes would like to know all the major points. Okay. So like... Uh, Kind of a sanitized outline, maybe, of what we talked about. All right. Well, I, I love chatting with you guys. It looks like the live questions are kind of slowing down a little. So let's move on to the meta slash event at Farmer Michelle. Let's do it. What? So uh, <laughs> This week we were doing sushi boats. Hopefully everybody likes the new sushi boat recipe with the new Abby Mackey. Uh, sushi in there. I think it's a fun change to the sushi boat recipe. It's got a little bit more variety to it now, which is cool. So hopefully everyone likes that. Next week, we're doing a Starlight Market Box meta again, and this one's going to have salmon panini, mocha coffee, and the wooden box. It should be a relatively easy one. Mocha coffee is not too hard to make. Salmon paninis are pretty easy, and there's no other ingredients aside from the wooden box. So we'll see how that goes. Not sure what kind of picnic that is. I don't know that I would bring mocha, mocha coffee and salmon paninis on a picnic, but <laughs> each their own, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the meta this week. Uh, the cash boosts are going to be cornstarch and marshmallows. So cornstarch is going from 2300 to 6000 Marshmallows going from 9000 to 25000 The biome is a desert. We've got an ocean to the north, a desert to the east, a river to the south, and another desert to the west. Trade time there is 100 seconds and still one gasoline. One of these days we might do a two gasoline one. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the rewards for this week are the standard gala rewards and the blueprint for the hasty ice cream shop. So the reward structure for those is in the announcements. If you guys want me to share it again here in chat, I can. Let me just find it quick. 
but don't forget that you don't need to sell starlight market boxes in order to get that uncommon level if you're just going for the uncommon level you just have to oh no you do have to you have to sell at least 100 of the meta craft in order to get that uncommon one but that's it you don't have to rank any higher than 1200 there's no like point requirement or anything uh, so the diamond one's going to do a 10% ice cream scooper walking speed boost. Platinum is 9%, legendary is 8, epic 7, rare 6, and the uncommon is 5% ice cream scooper walking speed boost. So those are rewards for this week. I think I got everything. Uh, the next two weeks after this will both be new ice cream flavors. Uh, they're going to be very similar to the chocolate ice cream cone. If you're looking for leaks now, there's your leak for the next two weeks. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Hmm. Nice. Hopefully no one has any questions about that. If you do, let us know. I will move on to the NFT sale that's going live tomorrow. It's at Cafe de Etoile, maybe. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's going listed for price tiers again. So the first tier is going to be the first 15 of them. They're $199. Second tier is $219. Third tier is $239. Fourth tier is $279. And the last tier is $299. There's 250 of them in the store. It is a legendary NFT. Uh, not in the announcement, but said earlier today is that the worker that comes with it is two times faster than the standard barista. So it is a barista unit. The craft times for all the crafts are the same as they are or would be at whatever building they're made at. We did make sure that all the different boosts that can be associated with it, like ghost cards, blueprints, um, the, any other NFTs that give boosts to those crafts do also apply to this NFT. So it won't be like the table appreciation where we had some issues with like the, the wine not adjusting appropriately with the boosts from the sommelier veneer NFT. So this should all should all be accounted for before this one goes live. Um, the different crafts that it makes will be the salmon panini, the lasagna, uh, mocha coffee, sangria, chocolate ice cream cones, apple pie, and fancy cake. All of those details on what their crafts are are right in the announcements. They all have a little bit less ingredients than they would at their normal crafting building. For example, the salmon panini has two less lettuce at this cafe NFT versus at the standard in-game one. Uh, lasagna has one less pasta sauce and one less flour. The mocha coffee has three less coffee beans and one less water, so no water at all. The sangria will have one less sugar and one less strawberry. Chocolate ice cream cone will have one less ice block and one less salt. The apple pie will have one less flour and one less cornstarch. And the fancy cake will have one less chocolate bar. So it's a pretty good assortment of stuff. We kind of try to think of it as like a restaurant with a menu. I think it's a pretty cool NFT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Farmer Michelle. Yeah. All right. Well, there is, uh, I'm going to paste a little bit of text after this. I'll tag the person who asked for a um, kind of a text summary because they cannot listen to the town hall. Uh, you could always turn on transcriptions, check the YouTube channel and look at the uh, today's stream and you could read the auto transcription if you want more details. So, yeah. All right. Well, everybody, have a wonderful weekend. Farmer Michelle, awesome hanging out with you again. And I think that's it for the day. Sounds good. All right. See you all later. Be, remember to like and subscribe. Week. See you later.
They say life on the farm is hard but honest work. But in common ground world, we farm for a greater cause. Saving the planet one soil patch at a time. Build an eco-friendly town, leveraging regenerative agriculture and recover valuable soil. Compete in weekly competitions to earn great prizes. Get rewarded for helping to support our ecosystem and your fellow farmers. Eager to learn more? Well, head on over to Gala Games and start playing now. Morning. How are you guys all doing today? Sounds like we might have lost Volcron again, but I'm sure he will be back shortly. In the meantime, I will get us going. So happy Friday. It is August 2nd. This is our bi weekly town hall. Let me get myself set up. Good here. morning. Hey, Volcron, how are you? Good morning. <laughs> I guess I'm doing all right. How are you, Farmer Michelle? <laughs> Good. Sounds well, like yeah, your internet issues lately have been just as rough as mine. <laughs> man, I, yeah, I guess I go on vacation one week and they think I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much, Farmer Michelle, for taking care of this while I was on vacation. Much appreciated. I'm yeah, happy anytime. To be back. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. If you're on YouTube, make sure that you like and subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, that way you don't ever have to wonder when we start. Like today, we started, uh, looks like about nine minutes late. So <laughs> good morning. Welcome to the town hall. We've been doing this for officially two years and one month. So we are past the two year mark. Hooray us. Um, consistency and all that fun stuff. It's awesome to talk to all the players. And occasionally have special guests. So, who do we got today? Bugs, Martigen. I don't know if the J is silent. I see your name all the time though. Lonely Island. Of course, former Michelle, always active in Discord. Timujin. Edie. I already said Edie. Okay. Dubstep. Good morning to you. Smoogie. I got some DMs this morning saying welcome back. Thanks, guys. That was very nice. Um, Will Bake. Yeah, all kind of bazinga. All right. Haven't seen Dash Rip Rock yet this morning. So hopefully he'll jump in. He always has some funny images to share. I'm sure he'll be around. <laughs> Visualize. There's a new name. Maybe you renamed O Town. All kinds of stuff. Okay. Well, it looks like we got the usual suspects here. Thanks, guys, for joining in. Um, yeah. So we have, uh, we have a link in case you wonder, like, how do I get my questions answered? Here is the link I'm posting in Discord right now. And that you can fill out at any time, and we will answer it at the next AMA. If you want to answer or if you want to ask questions live, you could do that now too. Do them in Discord, do them in YouTube. All right, well, let's jump straight into headlines. Farmer Michelle, what's new about rewards? Um, The adjusted rewards for... The last, let's see, the, oh man, I feel like we're a couple weeks behind. So I know last week's rewards have not yet gone out. And the ones from the week before that were adjusted, I'm not 100% sure if they made it to wallets. I saw it come through the system, but I haven't got any confirmation from anyone in the community that the adjusted ones have been sent out. Because I know we had sent them out incorrectly because the leaderboard list that we pulled was wrong. So I know that that is all in process. And I would think on Monday we'll get caught back up with everything and probably get all of those sent out. Awesome. And is there, so if people play every month, is there any sort of monthly free thing that they get? We do have free monthly NFTs. Uh, they're storage NFTs. They vary every month. The one for July was the coffee bean storage. That one should be out, I would say, not this coming week, but the week after. That'll give us time to, you know, run all the reports, make sure we get exactly who's supposed to be getting which NFT properly and get them all tested. Um, the ways to get those are, see, if you want the common one, you only have to play on 10 separate days, make at least one trade per day, and have a t at least a minimum of 25 trades throughout the course of the month. 
the rare one you had to play on 25 different days with at least a trade a day and have at least 75 trades throughout the month and then the uncommon one is for people with townstar nodes or common ground world nodes and this does have to run for at least six hours a day for 10 days during the course of the month and then you get the uncommon storage as well so the common holds 10 uncommon holds 25 i think and the rare holds 40. Hmm. nice and the townstar node also if you own one that'll let you uh, run a guild yes it will that's pretty handy we you have more all your friends to... share all your nfts with them yeah and uh we'll talk a little bit about uh game updates because that's a good segue i'm gonna go a little bit out of order here since we're talking about guilds um daily challenges uh <laughs> Guys, I, I appreciate the trolling. I know it's in good, <laughs> good humor. Thank you, Dubstep. Yeah, we're a little behind on that. One of the questions was like, hey, you said it was Q2. Yeah, a bunch of stuff hit. You know, sometimes we have different bugs we have to work on. Sometimes there's internal things at Gala. So, but the good news is that it's in QA. We're really excited about the feature. We're testing it now. You know, there's a couple things on the back end we want to do. But the reason I mention it on the segue of um, uh, guilds is that if you have an NFT, some people don't know this, but if you have an NFT that you've borrowed from your guild and you use it in a daily challenge, you and the owner of that NFT receive points. So you're going to get rewards. So if you're like me or whatever, and you go on vacation and your NFTs are in the guild, your friends borrow them, you're still going to get rewards when they complete their daily challenges. So I think that's a really cool feature. It's not uh, involving any sort of chain allowances. It's not transferring anything out of your wallets or anything. It's pure game logic. So um, yeah, so there won't be any overhead of costs or anything like that. So I hope y'all are ex as excited about that feature as I am. Uh, other stuff about daily challenges. Um, well, basically the only update I wanna give is that we're in QA and we're finishing out some of the claim things. When you guys play it, you'll see that that claim button has like five or so different states, right? You're not eligible to claim. There's a claim pending. Oh, there was an error claiming. Claim success. You know, that sort of thing. So, Or you already claimed this on a previous town. Um, one thing that people want to do, sometimes I guess, play your town. I did this in the Play Canvas version. Play your town, get your daily challenge, and then start your town over. You've already made your claim. You're going to get the rewards. You can nuke your town. You could start it over and try it again and see if you could do it faster. So that's kind of cool. Uh, next game update, new user flow with screens. This was a big push. One of the reasons that daily challenges got kind of second place for a couple weeks there. Um, you know, we took a look at the UI, like what welcomes players, what's important and all that. We had two or three UI people from the company jumping in towards our amazing artists. You can listen to the July 5th Town Hall for more info if you want to see a lot of screenshots and stuff. I will jog your memory with one here. Do, 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 do. So Hi. that's what the new... Yeah, it's really cool, right? So the yeah. focus is going to be on if you're a totally new player. This, you know, Sometimes you guys ask, how are you getting new players? Well, if you're a totally new player, uh, the focus is going to be on come into our slow-paced, non-competitive regenerative agriculture focused CGW mode. Um, if you're people that are probably listening to this podcast today, or sorry, the same A today, you're probably going to be playing events, which is off to the right. And you can still get to practice mode. But if you want more info, go to the July 5th podcast. Um, up next, uh, feature wise, game updates and all that are upgradable NFTs. We've been planning that for a long time. It's going to be awesome. It'll be on Gala Chain. So uh, as you may be aware, um, it allows your NFTs to grow. Um, there's still some debate about which NFTs we're going to apply that to, whether it's only the new ones that come out or maybe the backward, might do some backward compatibility stuff. But um, we have to rework, you know, when you pull up your inventory or the store in the game, not the Gala store, but, you know, the like wheat fields and all that, um, those cards... You know, that's four-year-old UI, right? Like, that was even in the Play Canvas version. And if you look in the Guild library, like, that's a little bit of an improvement. But we really need to put some effort into making that 
easier to use, a little better, um, a little more clear. Um, when you're upgrading your NFTs, one of the things, like say you have three noir heroes. Um, that's probably not a good example. <laughs> Let's say you have three of some storage NFT, right? And they're all the same. Well, let's say one of them is being upgraded. One is normal, not touching it. And one of them has been upgraded. So think about the visuals on that. So that's that's one of the things that we're doing right now is making sure that we're not blowing up the UI panel with way too much info. It's already very long, right, for a lot of people. So uh, that's where we are on upgradable NFTs. And uh, of course, the back end and the transaction system and you know the full billing system and all that that accounts for it and keeps us legal and happy and all that good stuff. All that's in the background too. So uh, if you have any questions, um, let me know. All right. For Michelle, you want to move on to our Q&A, the yes. pre-filled out? All right. First Let's one's for it. you. Uh, when will we do another guild competition? It's already two months without it. Um, I don't know when the next plan for a guild competition is. I know we were uh, looking into why that data got pulled incorrectly the first time and why we were uh, we couldn't get the proper guild members. So once we get all that figured out and maybe, I don't know how long it'll be before we get to the next round of like guild features, but I know we were also waiting on the guild V2 NFTs to come out. So those will come out now. So now we can start making plans for the next guild competition. There's not any like right on the books coming up anytime super soon. But as soon as we know, uh, we'll let you guys know as well. Hmm. All righty. Next question is for me. Uh, when will you do something about cheaters? They're still transferring the NFTs. Um, yeah, I, I personally don't love it when people do that. Um, I really wish uh, you guys would not cheat. But anyway, on a tech side of things, um, that was intended to uh, account for guild transfers as well, not just wallet transfers. Looks like somebody missed it. And the time that you acquired that NFT was supposed to change when you loaned it out via the guild. It doesn't. So we're going to fix that. And uh, so I'm going to say about that. Next question for Farmer Michelle. Hey, Farmer Michelle, when will the game be out of beta? <laughs> I know people have been asking this for such a long time. I mean, we're, as we said, when we first relaunched this game on Godot, we were going to build the game in public instead of a lot of gaming companies where they, you know, shut down for a couple of years to build a full game, get it all the way to the end, get all the features built and then release it to let people play. We're building the game while you guys are playing it. So, I mean, that does make it take a bit longer to build the game because we've also we've also got live ops and, you know, live events and all those other things to do all at the same time. So it will slow up the process of development. So the game may take a bit longer to get to the end state. And we do have quite a few things that are still in development, like upgradables. We've got daily challenges coming soon. We've got that common ground world mode that's got some work going on, and I'm sure... So, you know, there is still some stuff happening. I don't know when the game will be out of beta. I would imagine once we get to the end of those big features that we want to get added to the game, and then we can look at it and see what else we need to do to it and make that decision from there. All righty. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. Next one for me. Will there be any changes for common drown mode? Uh, yeah, at some point. I was talking to our game designer yesterday. Um, he's got some ideas in the works. Of course, we want to stick with Eric's idea of, or Benefactor, as you guys may know him, um, his idea of the regenerative agriculture and focusing on soil health, all that good stuff, you know. Um, anything that we can do to help um, share that knowledge and share that, that focus on those important topics. Uh, and also make it fun. Uh, don't want to do any spoilers now. For now, the focus is the daily challenges, the NFT upgrades, and all sorts of other stuff. So uh, let's see. Next one's for you, Farmer Michelle. This is translated from Indonesian. Um, can be can the NFTs from this game be sold on marketplaces like OpenSea? 
Yes, uh, you definitely, once you own the NFT and you bought it and it, it's in your wallet, that is, it's your your property. You can do whatever you'd like with it. You can switch it over to the Ethereum network and sell it on OpenSea. You can sell it to your friends. You can transfer it to your, your brother if you want to. You can sell it on uh, the NFT Harbor if you leave it right on Gala Chain. You can do whatever you'd like with it once you own it. That's completely up to you. Yeah, you know, I guess sometimes when you're so so long in this space, there's a lot of like beginner knowledge or newbie knowledge that sometimes we we forget. Not everybody knows that. So yeah, thanks for answering that, Farmer Michelle. Let's see. Um, hey guys. Uh, okay, TLDR on this question is uh, win daily challenges. Well, it's in QA right now. Um, I would say pessimistically, four to five weeks from now. Uh, optimistically or realistically sooner than that but i have to there's a lot of stuff we're doing if you go to gala.games and you look at some of the focus the company is doing right now some of that is affecting us not a lot um but we are mostly focused on this uh 95 so hopefully four to five weeks from now we'll have daily challenges out let's see live q a I think Farmer Michelle, you've been answering these in text via Discord. So if you're listening, I've been on YouTube, trying. Jump into Discord. It's in the C CGW Dash Discussion Channel, and read. Everybody's got interesting ideas and points, and passion. Okay. Yep. So, um. Actually, I don't. I don't even mind reading some of these guys. I, I love the feedback. Will Bake says um, the guild. These are comments rather than questions. But the guild feature has been the biggest thing that's driving people away lately. Well, uh, okay. What do you base that on, Will Bake? Is that like chat you're seeing, or is that personal feelings? What, give me some more info there. Um, I feel like personally, I've seen a lot of positive feedback on the guild thing. A lot of people. Uh, are you know using guilds to get their friends involved and let them use their NFTs during events so that they can get used to the game and see how the NFTs work. I mean, it's a great uh, vessel for that if you've got a node NFT and you've got some friends that are interested in the game but don't quite understand how to play it yet. It's, it's a great way to get them involved and show them what NFTs can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the idea of this off-chain, like pure game data, feature where you can share nfts with people with restrictions you know through the guild you got to be a guild um but that is that feeds directly into daily challenges so when hey now says earnings will bring people um i agree you know like when when you have a way to play the game and earn some coin because you've borrowed an nft um that's really cool so uh, Dubstep Rod says it's mixed based on what he's seen about guilds. So yeah, guys, keep the feedback coming. We love it. You know, good and bad, whatever's on your mind, share it. We address it. Um, let's see. All right. Well, let's hop straight into the meta, the event. Farmer Michelle, do you have information on that? I do. So next <sighs> week. We're going back to chandelier earrings. I know it's been a while since we've done earrings. They were one of the first, if not the first, jewelry meta we did, which was, gosh, quite a quite a while ago now. So yeah, next week will be chandelier earrings. Um, the boosts, the cash boosts for that meta are going to be copper and silver wire. So copper is going to be boosted from 1860 to 3720. Silver wire is going to be boosted from 4390 to 8800. Uh, the chandelier earrings, their point boost will be at 40,000 versus the 311 that they get on a normal day. The biome is desert south, and it's got desert on all four edges. There's no rivers, no oceans. It's just a big desert with a south orientation. So you will have an oil seep so that you can get your gas pretty easy. I have still been trying to set the towns up for new players so that they have, like, water pumps and ponds and some paved roads so that they're easier for people to get to gasoline setup as we're getting some new players coming in just to help them get into the game faster it's a standard gala rewards week so it's just all the standard rewards you can find that right in the announcements i can also put it right in chat if you'd like me to there's no blueprints or anything this week standard 72 hour competition 20 second trade time 10 if you've got an express depot and i think that is all i've got 
chandelier earrings. Oh, nice. Hmm. Thank you, Farmer Michelle. Well, um, I think I know what the upcoming sale is, but you're so much better at sharing that info. Do you want to share that info with people's? I can. I'm pretty sure we decided that we're not going to have a sale again on Monday. So we're oh. going to push that back. It was going to be Whoops. the wire mill NFT, which I think people already know about because it's been minted. So they've seen it. Um, but I don't my bad. believe that we're having a sale this week. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's my, my bad info. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the decision was just made this morning. Like, oh, okay. So. <laughs> well, I was <laughs> juggling my microphone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, that's good to share with people anyway that, you know, we're not doing a sale this week. So uh, those of you who say, um, oh, you shouldn't do sales every week. Well, there you go. We're not doing one this week. So, <laughs> so I hope that makes you happy. Um, let's see, guys. We got a couple minutes. If you want to share any other questions, tag us. Otherwise, I might start doing um, the Volcron version of Mal's Minutes over here. Do it. <laughs> I wish I could plug businesses. I I wish we could do that here because we had such a good time on our vacation. Oh, my gosh. It was, you know, it was very cool. There were some really cool places we went. Yeah, I've never been to Oregon, right? I've never been over there. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. I bet. LLL says, any reason why no sale? Glad but curious. I mean, there's not any huge reasons. We got Rian's out currently. I think he's he's on vacation. He's taking some PTO. So we just haven't haven't really been creating the sales. It's, I know you guys have been asking for a break. So it just seems like the most appropriate thing to do if Rian's out and you guys also don't want sales. You might as well just lay off for a little bit. See, Gang Bust is asking how long Wild Moopsy has been our game design lead. Uh, I'm not sure how long he's been here. It's been quite a while, though. I mean, he's been to plenty of town halls. Oh, yeah. At least a year and a half, I think. Yeah, it's been a while. Hmm. All righty. Well, uh, everybody, have a wonderful Friday and weekend. Um, I think I'm going to go do some, at lunchtime, I'm going to do some water collaring. So look forward to me making water collars. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Trying to be an artist. <laughs> I did Farm some art the other day. I did uh, the oil pastels. There was a little Ooh. lizard sitting on the grill outside my kitchen window in the backyard. So I tried to oil pastel the, the barbecue grill with the lizard sitting on it out the window. Oh, man. How'd it turn out? It turned out okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You know, I got really excited. I thought you said there was a wizard on the grill. And I was no, like, that'd be finally. cool. <laughs> I <Nice>. wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, everybody on YouTube, like and subscribe us. Uh, turn on the bell. Get notifications so you don't have to wonder, you know, when's this going live? And you will find out. And everybody on Discord, uh, Will Bake, LLL, Hey Now, Moyes, Gangbusta, Tady, Dubstep. Um, thank you for joining us. Farmer Michelle, have a wonderful weekend. You as Goodbye, well. Everybody. Have a good one, guys. Alrighty. Bye.